when Ty Lopez originally hit the advertising scene with his infamous Here in My Garage video. He likely had no idea what he was about to start one of YouTube's most nefarious trends. Soon after noticing how successful Ty's ad was. Countless wannabe internet gurus piled onto YouTube and started running ads to sell their $1,000 courses. On everything from how to sell on Amazon to crypto investments. Some succeeded and unsurprisingly. Most failed. One of the worst industries to sprout up from all the YouTube ad mayhem were the so-called entrepreneurs selling courses on. You guessed it. How to create and sell courses. The most repeated tagline all of these course sellers use is. You have something unique and special to offer the world. Let us show you how to package that knowledge into a profitable course. Well isn't that nice? Kind of makes you wonder how many YouTube users actually take the time to scrutinize the offer they're seeing in those YouTube ads. For instance, what if what's unique and special about you is your flair for making wicked grilled cheese sandwiches? Sure, you might make the most delicious grilled cheeses anyone could ever hope to enjoy. But at the end of the day, it's still just a grilled cheese and, at most, even the best grilled cheese can be taught in 5 minutes. Not exactly a thousand dollars worth of value. Then we have the Udemy factor. The average Udemy course costs about $25. With the more expensive courses running you up about $150. That's a pretty far cry from the $1,000 price tag these gurus encourage you to charge. If you do create a course for yourself, do you have the marketing smarts and experience to convince people your course is actually 4,000% more valuable than what your competitors have up on Udemy? And that brings us to marketing. Most of the people who buy these expensive courses on how to make a course don't have the first clue how to market their product properly. What that means is. They keep pumping out the exact same copy on their sales pages. Their automated email sequences are all the same. To the point where their emails are completely predictable. Great marketing is never supposed to be predictable. Finally this brings us to the weirdest phenomenon these YouTube guru courses create which is more wannabe gurus on YouTube. Case in point, podcasts and YouTube channels are a clear indicator of who's real and who's fake. You see as each day goes by more and more new podcast and YouTube channels sprout up. And those who use an interview model to create content are becoming desperate. A-list guests are getting more difficult to land for interviews. Leaving these creators with few choices to fill up their content calendars. Their solution is to bring in whoever is willing to spend time on their show. This leads to plenty of course sellers giving interviews talking about how successful they are and how much money they're making. Except everything they're saying is made up. Next time you hear an interview in which someone talks about how successful they are. And it just so happens that they have a course to sell, look up their work. You'll find that most of them are nowhere near as successful as they claim and that the real money is in selling courses on YouTube. Take this as a cautionary tale. Truly successful people are too busy being successful to sell courses themselves if they do choose to sell courses. They've hired someone else to coordinate everything on that end. Truly successful people also don't believe in creating competition for themselves. Who in their right minds would show people how to take money away from them. General rule of thumb, if someone is selling you their secrets. They're either not successful to begin with. Or they're no longer competing in the industry they're teaching. Thank you for watching.